Let's just not address what I look like, okay? Hey guys, so this week, again, I wasn't sure what to film, so this time I decided to take it down to Twitter town. I just asked if anyone had any video suggestions for things that they want to see on my channel, and I got a couple of good ones, so I will be um, doing those eventually because I want to make stuff that you guys like, so if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Um, but this video I think is going to be kind of short. You know what? I'm going to stop saying how long I think videos are going to be because it never turns out to be the way that I say, so shut up. So shout out to Cass for this video idea. She tweeted me um, and said that she wanted to see like a room tour. My room's not exactly in like a good state for a room tour right now, but if you guys want to see me do that, let me know. Um, but she said she kind of just wanted to see like my art walls, which I have posted on my Instagram. If you haven't seen, I posted one, like my main one, my favorite one, that's like actually complete. <laughs> um, but I do have like some other things up on my walls. So I figured that I'd just like show you guys what I have. And because I don't know, I love my art. I love um, supporting artists. I think it's like one of my favorite things ever is just to have um, art up on my walls. So along with like pictures and stuff, I have like pictures and wristbands and bracelets and stuff, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So I'm gonna apologize um, for bad lighting or shakiness in my hands because I don't have a camera, it's just on my phone. I really wanted to film in daytime with natural lighting, um, but it's been raining pretty frequently actually, which is weird, um, but it's definitely raining today. Um, so the lighting is gonna be probably kind of bad. Yeah, it's kind of bad even just looking at it, but it's fine, right? Hey guys, so um, the audio and lighting get like progressively worse throughout this video, so please excuse that. <laughs> Okay, so this is like the main wall. This is the one that I posted on my Instagram. Um, give you a quick little like overview of it. That's it. <laughs> so I guess we'll start at the bottom. This is um, my breakfast club poster. It's a little beat up, but I don't mind. <laughs> As I think we can gather at this point in my <laughs> YouTube videos, I don't mind little like wear and tear too much. Next up is this baby. So. This was actually um, a gift from my best friend, Audrey. She gave this to me on my birthday. Hello. <laughs> I love it so much and I think it, again, looks so good. Next up is this baby. It's still in the packaging because I really don't want it to get damaged, but as you can see, um, I got this in Ecuador. Yeah, I went to Ecuador this summer. Um, most amazing time of my life. I miss it so much, <laughs> but I got this in like a couple other art pieces. I love butterflies and this color scheme is so pretty. Over here, I just have some clippings um, that I got from like magazines. I'm pretty sure these ones are from a Lush catalog. These ones, I'm not sure, like maybe it was like an old Teen Vogue or something. This mother, <laughs> this one always falls down. I actually just had to re-put it up right now. It hasn't been up for like a month, maybe. <laughs> it's been like a blank space right here. Um, It just fell off again. Thank you. Go on Ryan. bye bye. So this baby, is one of um, two prints that I bought from the beautiful, talented Miss Natalie. And she's a photographer that is Seattle-based as of right now. She is the sweetest ever. I love her to death. Hi, Natalie. Love you if you're watching this. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I thought this was like so beautiful. She All of her photography is so beautiful and like her editing style. I genuinely admire her so much, so thank you. So here is just a little print I have of River Phoenix. A little old and damaged, as you can tell, as most things are that I own. And then another little butterfly. This is actually from the observatory in San Diego, um, North Park. This is when I saw Brockhampton for the very first time and I met a bunch of my friends. And yeah, I don't know, something that means a lot to me, so I keep this hung up here. And then this one is a print by Lucy Ford. This is like one of the first art prints that I ever bought. I honestly don't know what she's up to now, but she painted these and then printed them for sale. And up here, this is um, an old print that my Nina actually bought, I wanna say from the 90s. This is like from the 90s. Um, that's kind of um, a problematic scumbag that I won't say his name, but that's why I'm a writer. And I don't know, I love this piece a lot and it's just like really, really beautiful. So I keep it up there. It's a little postcard actually. And then here we have, um, this is the first like beaded bracelet that I ever made for myself. If you know, you know, moving on. <laughs> this is a little cutout again that I got from a nylon magazine. I love nylon, super, super creatively beautiful company. This little baby um, was another filler. I had blank space in between. This is the print that Nuda um, from Scum 
who's seen scum i know like two people that have seen it <laughs> very amazing show watch it if you haven't but um the character nuda has this on her mirror and i kind of love that just like a little reminder these two are again um magazine cutouts um, i have a hard time keeping my stuff down on the wall but i don't really mind too much this little sucker i got from the brand thug um their clothing brand based in london and the designs are the dopest shit ever. Yeah, I don't know. I love the colorway and it's beautiful and I support them. They're talented dudes, so check them out. Um, everyone that I mentioned actually, I'm gonna try and link below. Like this one, this is um, a throwaway print from Brian Kinnis. I bought one of his shirts that he released last year. It came with a couple prints. Here I just have some pictures of me and my best friends um, from high school. This is a print from the brand, well, it was called hers at the time. It's been rebranded to Merci Tesson. Merci Tesson? Merci Tesson. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is a brand that I have been supporting. This is another, um, this is a big poster. I actually witnessed the artist, um, shout out Daniel Bingham. Um, he drew this when he was on an Instagram live. So he put it on a poster. This artist is from Texas. He's LA based right now. Um, he's making clothes now, so I don't, uh, he hasn't released art in a long time, but he makes some super dope tees and hoodies and stuff and crew mix, so check that out. Here's just another random, um, Lush catalog cutout, and then another, um, magazine scrap. <laughs> and this I got with my order last year from Tyler. It's like a big sticker, but I, like, this one's a sticker as well. I just don't want to, like, permanently have them on my wall, so, like, in case I want to move them, so, yeah, I just put the whole last thing up there. Um, again, more bracelets. Spooky Jen, that's me. <laughs> and then the little sex bricks. Shout out to the like literal three other people I know that is. This is actually a recent one. I got this wristband um, at the Roxy a couple weeks ago when I went to see Ray Blair. Shout out Ray Blair, I'll also link him below. <laughs> um, this is a little, the stars have aligned cut out from the magazine again. Another cut out from the magazine. Okay, this rose I got um, from my mother in a bouquet on my 18th birthday. I have a thing about keeping flowers. Um, you'll see that soon. These are my two cousins. Shout out. And then that's little baby me. <laughs> it's a little wildflowers um, sticker. These are from August when I went um, on James Corden. Me and Mara went to go see pretty much. Um, it was a time. This is a print that I got from definitely more local artists. This is Elijah Solar Broccoli. Makes music, makes art, super, super talented, super sweet guy. Um, I'll also link him down below, but I just really fuck with this print. Grainy glittery effect and the colors and who doesn't love tits, yeah? Okay. <laughs> and now for the one that I'm sure everyone's been waiting for. Hello, sir. So me and some of my best friends went to an art show earlier this year. Um, it featured art by Wyatt Navarro and Bidsum. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce his name. Super talented guys, um, their work is so cool. Uh, but Wyatt was selling some of his prints and you know he had some Tyler in there. Now I have this beautiful one-of-one -one print of a man that I will love till I die, okay? Shout out Wyatt, um, so talented. Again, I don't think I need to link him, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> As for like more art, I don't know if this don't qualify as art, but like, this is my setup. So I have little glow-in-the-dark stars um, along the top of my closet. Here's the other side. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in crisis mode. I literally just hung up a print on that wall. And I don't know where it is. Like, it's just like, it's gone. I'm telling you now, there's some spirit ghosts trying to mess up my life and it might be working. Thank you. This is my poster from Enya. I bought her chapter four piece, which was a little zine that she made. Um, and it came with this and I love it. And I think it looks beautiful up there. So thank you, Enya. I love it. Here we have another little magazine cut out. This is another print by Brian Kinnis. This sucker I made my senior year and then this is another lucy ford print i love lana if you didn't know hello here we have um another tyler piece this is um the flower boy poster so it just has like the singles and track list and has all the lyrics to every song here we have another hers print and then another print by natalie this is her sister leslie um also shout out leslie beautiful i love me some disco balls and some pink and this is it's just beautiful like look at that that's amazing. So here's Fug. Again, they do um, hand-drawn art and they slap those babies on stickers. So, love that. This again is another little magazine cutout. Um, this, another wildflower sticker. And then 
This was from a little um, doggy calendar, I want to say. This is another magazine cutout. Another magazine clip. Um, this is a little picture of my best friend's little sister. Love you, Kyra. Hee <laughs> hee. And this is a little golden snitch necklace. I love Harry Potter. Okay. Um, yep. Harry Potter. <laughs> Um, this is my Hermione poster. Honestly, I'm pretty sure this is my older brother's. We stand Emma Watson in this house. It's like Damn official like Sealed off and everything. Well, I got this because me and my dad went to go see um, Infinity War opening night I'm obsessed with Marvel and yeah It's beautiful. We got another magazine print. This is another little piece of art that I got in Ecuador um, It's a little blue footed boobie. This is a little Polaroid that I took in Santa Barbara in like 2014 or 2015. Okay, classic dirty disgusting. <laughs> this is a <laughs> I'm so sorry. Two or three years ago on Valentine's Day, I printed out all those little meme um, Valentine's things and this is one that I love because I love friends. And yeah, I just put it in my wall for literally no reason. It's gross. I'm probably gonna take it down. No offense. This is my most recent addition to this wall. I just went to this show three days ago, two days ago, I don't know. Super incredible. Can I just like, so y'all know I love Enya. It only makes sense that I love literally everyone else in that group. Um, so at that Brockhampton show on Monday, I actually um, got to meet Christian and Drew and Josh. And yeah, I like boot my pants, but they're so nice. And my life has been made, so. It literally just fell onto the floor. Who wants me dead? Look, like look, I'm seriously, Someone's trying to kill me, okay. Yeah, this is um, live haunting footage, but whatever. It's very crooked, wow. Okay, I literally just made it worse, whatever. Um, went to the show with my oldest brother, Jacob. Love that, shout out Jacob. So this is definitely um, my emptiest wall. <laughs> but down here, I just have a little um, Doctor Strange poster. I got this because I went to the little IMAX movie marathon they did for Marvel earlier this year. Um, so I got this and like a couple other posters that you're gonna see right now. So when you go up this wall, I'm sure you already saw there's like a big empty space right here that I need to fill. I, I have a friend's poster that I just got that I think I'm gonna put up there. But for now it's empty. Um along with more okay, that's a lot of empty. <laughs> but this one is a Guardians of the Galaxy poster that I got also from the IMAX um marathon. Along with this little Avengers Age of Ultron poster. Um yeah, I love Marvel. Also already said it, love Harry Potter. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Um this i'm sorry it's like awful i got a oh my god i got a new tv and it's like ginormous and it literally like blocks half of the posters now but i didn't want to like move them so they're there still <laughs> it's a poster for captain america civil war um i love that movie i saw it way too many times what this is a great great content great angle if you haven't noticed yeah i have christmas lights up oh look it's my daughters they look beautiful <laughs> but yeah a lot of empty wall space um, and then we move over here. I'm trying to avoid at all costs showing you like the mess. You know how everyone has like that one chair in the room that they just throw all their laundry on and like leave it to be a mess all the time? That's my desk for me. So yeah, maybe I'll do room tour, maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, but not showing you my desk. <laughs> this is my little Doug the Pug um, 2018 calendar that my friend Emma gifted to me last year for Christmas. Um, thanks Emma, love you. We'll also link Doug the Pug down below. <laughs> and then I guess this counts as wall decoration. Um, this, this is like my earring, most of my earring collection. A lot of them I made, a lot of them I didn't. These are all my ones that have like the little hookies. <laughs> as you can see, soup's cute, ooh. Are you guys annoyed by the zooming? I don't know, but I'm doing it anyways. I did it this whole video. Awful lighting. Can I get a ho oh yeah, ho oh yeah. Um, let me know if you wanna order earrings. I sell. <laughs> Well, I ever should have bought this? No. Also, shout out to everyone that just ordered earrings. Um, I had a large order in like last week. So if you gave me any business, I love you. Thank you. Mwah. Actually started, you know what? It'll be up at this point. I just made an Instagram page for my earrings to be sold um, because I can't keep track of it all in my personal DMs. So if you want to buy some earrings, check out my um, Instagram page for them. So, woo. This is the big boy poster of my room. Um, as you can see, it's like heavy duty framed and like hung up on my wall. When I originally put this up, I was thinking of like switching out the print like seasonally, but I never did. And lastly, I was debating showing this or not, but I think I'm going to because I love this wall so much. So right here in my closet, um, I have this little wall. <laughs> Sorry. I have um, this wall with a bunch of dried flowers. Like I said, I love keeping flowers that are given to me. Yeah, see, little, little nook for it. Um, <laughs> you can see
see the mess in my room. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, right? So that is like everything that I have, all the art and like collections that I have on my walls. Let me know if you guys know any artists that I could be supporting or that have art that you admire. I just love to check them out anyways. I'm a big fan of supporting um, small artists, local artists, big artists, whoever it is. If I admire your art, I admire it. And if I have the means to support by like buying something, I will for sure. Um, it's not usually as of lately, but <laughs> I will definitely support how and when I can. So yeah, let me know if there's any people that you guys admire. Feel free to leave them down in the comments below, like their ads. Like I said, I'll be linking the artists down below that I featured in here um, because I genuinely love and admire them a lot. So check for that in the down bar. If you haven't already, leave a like, leave a comment, um, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. I can't talk. <laughs> Turn on post notifications if you'd like to be notified every time that I upload. Yeah, any support and interaction is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much if you're subscribed and all that jazz. Thank you so much for the millionth time. <laughs> Let me know if you had a favorite of what you saw and yeah, I love you. Okay, bye.